Well, once they, they gotta sort, they gotta oh, get yeah, in the yeah. game here. Hold All on. right, so we got Team Earth versus Team Wind. Let's see what we got here for heroes. So we got a. Uh, Tura. Well, go. Well, I was gonna say, it looks like uh, we've got a Mercy Ana combo for healers there with our tanks of our uh, Roadhog and Rhine here. Pretty good for this map, I think. Nice tight corridors here. So we've got our payload map here before, and if for those of you that have been watching kind of week by week, we've got uh, kind of two teams that were really dominant in their performances last week, if you remember. Some standout players, Dan subbing in from an old team. But we've also got Nightmare, who was one of our standout performers as Roadhog last time. So I would definitely expect to see some good hooks out of him. We got Xave starting a little late on this map, playing Roadhog. It was a really strong fair on the last time around, so it'll be interesting to see what he's able to do with her, this or with him this time. But he's definitely going to be coming to the fight late. I'm not sure where what he was doing. We're all actually locally here. And Earth, I was going to say, Junkrat plays pretty well here as as as, as well. Um, so we got him in there as well. Then we got a good 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 placement here on the payload, moving through. So we got this uh, this bastion strategy where we're, we're expecting you know they're just going to be able to walk it through here. There's no contesting here at all. This team is this just is walking nothing. straight through. Team Water, no problem. But there we go. He finally gets picked off. They take him off a bit. We've got Team right. Earth kind of trying to position maybe, themselves. Maybe maybe this was part of Water's strategy. Get him into that tight area first, and then and then just push him back. Might be. I don't know if it's a strategy that I would necessarily <laughs> endorse, but, you know, hey, I guess it's worth Strategy it. nonetheless. They're getting pushed off there. Once you lose that key point up there, it's going to be really hard. You can see they've already moved the payload up pretty far. We've got, I'm trying to think of who are we trying hard here on Ignite account. Trying to do something here, but they're just walking this right through. And yeah, where do you think they're failing here? I mean, they're knocking out. It looks like they're throwing straight into their healers. They're getting rid of them immediately, which is a huge problem. Absolutely. Obviously. And with Dan on this Bastion right here, he's being uncontested as the other team is just not able to impact it. He's got the Reinhardt shield up. This can be really strong if you don't have a well-coordinated team that's ready to do something. Especially with that offensive build going in. Usually you want like a nice Pharah coming in from above on Bastion to get up and over that shield as well, do some heavy damage. Or even, I would even argue, you could maybe throw in a Winston here if it's well-coordinated. We got a lot of options here, but this. Oh, we got a, we got a, we got a switch here. We got a McCree coming in here from, from Zave. Gotta wonder if that's the right play. He was really strong on Fair before, and with the changes that we've had with Bastion, you would expect him to be. Able to yeah. Play. Right now, they're just mowing just mowing right. down. Whoa, Centrin on, on fire. Bastion this is just kind of walking through, not really being yeah. contested very much. Again, you got to figure out ways to get to this Bastion through the shield. You can run your own Bastion if you wanted to run through it. You could run a fair if you wanted to. I mean, the jump grab wasn't a bad idea, but you need to get rid of the shield. Right now, Dan hasn't moved. I don't even know. Yeah. If I, you know, I look back there. He's not even pressing his WA. I don't even know. I don't, yeah. I think he just put the keyboard on the ground out of. So right now, they've got the Bastion exposed. But it's just oh my gosh. Enough. Yeah. This would be an opportunity for Roadhog to come in there for a hook, get him off that payload, but... Yeah, let's see what these damage dealers are doing. I was going to go, so see, where's McCree here in this situation? What's he up to? Oh, oh, off, oh he's picking up from the front. Yeah, this is not... This is a really fast, fast payload march in here. I, I, don't, I don't see Earth holding this here. And Water, actually, was the team... Wow. That was quick. That was quick. Water was actually the team that got yeah. swept last series, last week. So yeah. And three. So this time they're yeah. back with a vengeance. My thought, maybe they've been Searching practicing science. a little bit more. Maybe they've been training, but... And they're hungry. They are they're hungry. very hungry. Yeah. Holy cow. Wow. Let's look to the yeah. cameras. Waiting screen. All right. <laughs> cameras are on. All right. So I don't know which way the cameras are facing. They can't throw up the oh, preview. Oh, well, let, let me throw the preview up. As you can see, our stream has improved, but we're still working on it. There we go. All right. Well, let's just, let's just see. There's two of us here. Well, scoot over. Scoot over. All right. Hey, all right. Go. Welcome stream. All right. Much higher quality. So I'm looking to see who's back in our stream that was here last time that was giving us 
a hard time about it. So we're looking a lot better than last time. And uh, impressed again. We got Dan's. We got yeah. Dan's favorites in here too. All right. So we're gonna see if uh, Team Earth's able to do anything to respond to this because they definitely got. Maybe a little overconfident from last week. Maybe so they were thinking water. They were just going to walk over them like fire did last week. So Maybe. All right. Let's jump back in our game. And see Jumping back in here. Let's see what we got. All right. So right now we're running a very quick comp there. Uh, we've got Devo. We've got Roadhog. We've got Farah. They're looking to just kind of swoop in there and make something happen. But looking at kind of the defensive team on water, almost the same thing. But they've added a Rhine in there. That's going to give them a little bit of protection. You know, honestly, if the other team runs the same Bastion count, they'd be pretty strong against the uh, the water team. So we're going to see what they're able to do, if they're able to respond. Water's all positioned here. I see the Lucios in there as well. I always think that's a good choice on this map when you're defending. Let's see what we got here. All right, well, let's see what they do when they come out of the gates. So pretty basic strategy there. Right, Soldier right we've got over to the side there trying to make something happen. Xave's getting shot down. Really good play by Dan there. Dan's going to be a hard target to work through here because he's going to have his number. But Dan out of position a little bit here, getting caught up. Ooh, he's poking in. He's going to be on the last, but we've got Team Earth here coming down the pipeline. So you're going to notice you're going to want to be able to block this, and then they're going to want to get in front to stop them from pushing over this arch. Once you get past this arch, it becomes incredibly challenging to stop this payload from sweeping forwards. They get pooped off, though, and this is going to be really hard for them to persist. Oh, wow. We've got Team Earth coming back with a vengeance on the healers. Ooh, got a good couple right shots there. He's going to need right to get there. healed up, yeah. though. Careful. He's getting There close. we go. Twice sent by honor. And Mercy's right there. Great Mercy play there. Staying on top nice of the targets work. that need help. Recognizing that Xave is doing work up there and that he doesn't need our help anymore. They blew right past that arch. We got both teams really strong offensively. But Kawhi Senpai in some trouble here. Ooh, Ooh. gets punished by Link. We do have Mercy all here, so once they get past this checkpoint, they can leverage that as well. If they get Absolutely, wiped. but Xave, ooh, unbelievably oh. good all. Totally wiped them out, secured the next point. They're moving just as fast as our water team. Wow, we got two teams here that are very hungry and very offensive. So trying hard, a tank main here. He was not doing his tank last time, but maybe he's a little bit more comfortable in this new spot coming in. He's gonna have Earth Shatter down, and as long as Runaway Jess can keep his shield up, they'll be okay, but we'll see who's able to get a good Earth Shatter down. It can be definitely game-changing. Right now we've got a lot of ults building up for Team Earth right now. They're getting ready to, to make something happen. This Roadhog ult with the Ana ult can be really punishing, especially if they can get that diva out of that. So we're going to see. That might be their first target. Here. Taking over the top ground. Trying to do something. Stopping them from getting over this arch, but even the power of Dan might not be enough. Why he sent by oh, keeping the save up. Oh, it's coming in close. Both not enough, milk. though. Not up there long enough. Ooh, we got a big hammer down. Doesn't really catch too many people off, but it's enough to get that, ooh, Reinhardt down. Reinhardt trying to go ham. We've got Xave with the alt. Coming to behind between the, the Farah coming in from the opposite side of Reinhardt. That helps sandwich kind of a pincer move there. There we go. Sentry oh, trying to make wow. something happen. Just get blown up. This is like we just watched the last team. Yeah. They're doing the exact opposite, running it right back at them. Yeah. Well, there's a little trickle going on there from uh, Team Win there. Absolutely. They don't have any chance here. Yeah. Earth is just pushing wow. right down them. We it's like they went to panic. It's like they went to panic mode. Oh yeah, they're cr they're crumbling. Here fast. you can see there goes. Oh, we just cut cut over. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've got you know. We've got Team Earth building up alts right now. We're gonna have another ult from Fera ready to, to drop it. You know, this is such a great spot. She's gotta time it, yeah. Oh, get happen. behind it. Okay, Catches well, now if she times this right. She can definitely fly up there and yep. make something happen. Yeah, get rid of that Rhine. Rhine shield is Rhine cracking, cracking. Ooh, big miss big on that Big miss ult. on the ult. There we go, but he does not wow. pop it up. But you know what? Guess I can feel the we got this that. mercy all. She's holding it. She's waiting. Holding. Thinking, holding. are we going to have an opportunity? Nightmare getting low. Not enough. She's going to hold it, it looks like. Yeah, she's still holding on to it. Okay. Don't hold on to it too long, though. That's all part of the trick. You've got Anna kind of open out here. She's not, not getting a lot of support from her team there. Again, 
We're just holding on to this Mercy Alt. Could be. We're only kind of getting one at a time here, which is working out for uh, for Team Wind here because we haven't blown a huge alt. But Diva out of mech. Again, this now opens up this right here. We're going to see another big play from Nightmare. He carried their team to their one win last week. We're going to see if he's able to do it again here. I have a feeling yeah. we're going to see something big. Look at Ooh. that. Oh, great. Play Good play. dodge out of there. Oh, maybe not. Go. Maybe not. We're going to see. All right, now we're back at the Mercy. Here we go. Keep it up here. So they're easy, barely easy. holding. Oh, get two. oh, could get no, no. no. Wow, very so conservative ready. mercy on the altar here. I'm very surprised. She knows that it's going to be a big game changer here. There we go, big earth shatter coming down. All coming yeah. up. Yeah, they're starting to run there through we go. here. If we can get a kill, a couple kills here. Just not killing very fast like they were before. There we go. That Ryan is diving in there hard. He's going to be able to stay up. Big kills here. They're starting to run it through. We've still got this Mercy all Just lurking in the background, waiting for that opportunity. Right behind Protected, right on that wall. Good, good, great good position. Play. Really good play. Now it's just going to be this McCree that's left. And we got all our alts. We got that team on fire. We've got Mercy and Rez. Really good wow. play. Really good play. Both, I have to say, both of them running it back like that. Impressive. Absolutely. And we're going to see what ends up happening here. I kind of want to angle this, but I don't want to unplug anything. Sorry. Right. 